Hi everyone, welcome back to 365 Ninja. Today I'm going to show you a pretty cool thing in Word 2013. How to create a dynamic form that you can fill out yourself, send to somebody, print it out, keep it digital, whatever you need to do. But it's a form that has pre-designated fields that somebody can fill out with their own information. To start, we need to set up the developer tab on our ribbon. So if you already have a developer tab in your ribbon, you don't need to do this, but most of us don't. So click File, go to Options, select Customize Ribbon, and take a look at the developer item in this right-hand column here. Check the box, click OK, and the developer tab is added to the ribbon. And we'll be using that once we have a form to edit. Now I'm not starting from scratch with this video, so we'll go to the File tab and click New, and we're going to pull up an online template. So I'll just type in Form, and you can see that there are hundreds probably of form templates that you can use. You can either use them as is or edit and add your own fields. For the purposes of demonstration here, I will select this Address Change form. You can get a preview of it in this box, click Create, and the template is downloaded and your form is created. Now you can see here, this is what I would view if I'm a recipient of this form. If I click into a field, it prompts me to remove that pre-filled bracketed field label, essentially, and fill out my own information. And all of the fields that I need to fill out are denoted by those brackets. If you want to edit the form, you'll go to that developer tab that we added and click design mode. And now you can see that each field has a name and we have the ability to edit what that name is and even edit the text that appears in the field. So if you want to edit a field, you'll select it and then click properties in the ribbon. You get at the content control properties box and you can change the title, change the tag, change the style. What you want to make sure is that the locking features are how you want them. Probably you want the contents cannot be edited box to be unchecked because that way people can actually edit the field. Click OK when you're done customizing that. And that's really all there is to sort of the basic elements of a form in Word. There's a lot more you can do with forms in general. You can add new fields by let's say selecting some text and clicking rich text content control here in the ribbon. You can restrict editing in a variety of ways, but these are some advanced features that we're not going to get into in this video, but feel free to explore on your own if there are things that need to be added to your form. Once you're done, click out of design mode, make sure your form is how you want it, and save it and send it on or fill it out yourself, print it out, whatever you need to do. Hope that tip helped. There's a lot more you can do with Word 2013 and Office 365, so please check back with 365ninja.com for more.